It's a simple concept. When everything is working right, both the top and bottom thread tension nerves on the boss are balanced. This leaves the knot hidden in the center of your workpiece. When it's off balance, the knot ends up either on top or the bottom, depending on which tension is up too high or too loose. I recently had an issue sewing the liner to a belt. Um, the boss would sew just fine for a few stitches, and then the knot, the lock stitch, would pop up again on the top. This indicates here, as you can see, uh, that my tension on the top was too high. But no matter how much I tried to loosen it, it, it wouldn't correct the problem. Uh, at one point, I even took the screws off the tensioners uh, completely, uh, springs and everything, and tightened down my bottom bobbin tensioner, which I never touched as much as I could. And it didn't, didn't do anything. It, it still showed that I had too much tension on that top thread. So after some, some tinkering, I figured out and started to focus my attention on this guy here. This is your primary tensioner. Now, in fairness, I'm going to tell you that I already did everything that I'm about to, to show you. Uh, I filmed this in hi hindsight. Um, afterwards, it was one of those things that afterwards I thought to myself, geez, I really should have recorded that. And so if things don't look quite right in here, just bear in mind that's what's happening. Um, so I took apart the primary tensioner. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some very fine uh, sandpaper. Uh, I like to use wet sandpaper on this, and you can find that at any automotive parts store. This is a, a 1000 grit. And I'm going to start off with this washer here. I guess the, the manual calls this the um, tensioner plate. I'm going to pick one side, and I'm going to just really buff this thing out. Um, my goal here is to make it almost a mirror finish. Started off with 1000 grit, and I'm switching here to 1500 grit. And to top it off, I am going to use some metal polish. This is a, an old tube that I've had for years. This is my favorite brand. And I'm going to uh, just keep polishing that off as much as I can. I want that to be a, almost a mirror finish. And I'm going to repeat the process on both sides of the roller. This is the piece that the thread actually wraps around. And while I'm at it, and since I have some laying around, I'm going to make new uh, fabric pads for it as well. This is uh, just some craft store felt.
Now I'll take my freshly polished primary tensioner pieces and put it all back together again. So how does it work now? Well, I can tell you this. When I decided to go back and film what I had done, I thought it would be fun to just kind of do a before and after um, thing. Uh, but since I had already fixed it, I would have to purposely adjust the settings on the boss to recreate the issues that I was having before. I, was, I would have to purposely go back and tweak the settings to make the the problem arise again and no matter how I tried to make the boss screw up and make a bad stitch I couldn't make it happen uh, it literally stitches flawlessly now um, anyways funny thing so uh, I hope this is helpful and if anyone else is uh, having this issue uh, I would definitely try this uh, fluff and buff on it uh, to see if it helps thanks